Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the exam tip video on probability that is examined in Maths Paper 2. Are you a student who thinks probability is just a branch of number in formulas? Think again, probability is actually one of the most fascinating and useful topics in statistics. As I'm providing these tutorials, my aim is to make you ready to score your 12 out of 12 in your final exam in statistics. So many candidates fail this part of question on probability and usually it carries out 3 marks. You guys, you will no longer lose those 3 marks. You will be ready to take your 100% after following this video. I'm going to teach you the tactics of winning on this part of statistics in your maths exam. Let us dive in and discover awesomeness of probability together. So I have listed these points. Uh, probability in maths paper 2 is usually examined on the last part of statistics and it is going to usually carry out three marks. Uh, you should take note of selecting both candidates from same category or different categories. Uh, same category keyword is and and selection of first item is going to affect the denominator and numerator in selection of second item. So I'm going to use past exam question papers to illustrate uh, this kind of question. So let us now uh, work out the probability question that was in November 2023. So our question was on number six. Uh, we are just going to move straight to part E, uh, where we are asked about probability. So it is saying the ages of four learners were recorded. Uh, the results are shown in the table below. Part E is saying if two learners are chosen at random, find the probability that they are both in the age group 14 to 16. So our keyway DM is both. So it means that we are going to select both the first student and the second student in the same category. So um, selection of the first student uh, in this 14 to 16, we are going to say 3 out of 40. I hope you are agreeing with me where we are getting this probability is 3 out of 40. Uh, the total number of learners is 40. And then in this category, 14 to 16, we are having these three. And then now want to write the probability of reselecting from the same group. It is now going to be 2 out of 39. Why? Because the selection of the first uh, learner is affected the numerator and denominator of the second probability. So it means that after selecting the one from 14 to 16, we now have 2 and also the total is now 39. Now to find the probability of selecting from both groups, we are going to multiply because we are selecting uh, from, the, from both, uh, all of them in the same category. So we say 3 over 40 times 2 over 39. So let us punch on the calculator 3 over 14 times 2 over 39. We are going to get our answer is 1 over 260. Or we are going to write our probability as a decimal. It is going to be 0, 0,00385. Uh, so this is how we deal with probability of selecting from same category. Uh, the probability of reselecting, we are going to have the numerator and denominator being changed. So I'm going to explain another example of selecting from both of them in the same category. I'm just selecting randomly from past exam question papers. So here I'm going to select another question from June 2015. Uh, the question is reading, the table shows the distribution of mathematics marks for 500 students in an examination. Uh, two students are chosen at random. Find the probability that both students 
got marks less than or equal to 50. So less than or equal to 50, we are going to take this 325 over 500 is our first probability. Uh, so want to calculate the probability of selecting from the same group. It means that the numerator is now going to be 324 over total of uh, 449. Why? Because the selection of the first uh, learner is going to affect the second learner, the probability of the second learner. It means that if uh, we were having 500 after selecting the first learner, they are now 449. And it means that in that category, if we have total of 325, because of that first selection of the first learner, it is now 324. So we say 325 over 500 times 324 over 449. Let us punch on the calculator 325 over 500 times 324, sorry, 324 over 449. We are going to get our probability is 1053 over 2245. Or we write this fraction as a decimal, it is going to be 0, 0.469. I hope you are mastering the concept, guys. Uh, we are going to dive in the last example of selecting both items from same category. We are going to select our question from June 2013, Maths Paper 2. It is saying 100 boys watch soccer on TV during 2010 World Cup. The information is shown in the table. Then part D, it is saying, if two boys were chosen at random from the group, find the probability that both watched soccer for 30 hours or less. So for 30 hours or less, we are going to have this cumulative frequency, which is 21. It is um, the total of those we have watched from from less than 30, well, from 15 to 30, right? So we are going to say 1 plus 2 plus 7 plus 11. We are going to get a total of 21. So we say 21 over 100. That is going to be our first probability. Uh, so the probability of selecting from the same category, it is going to be 20 over 99. Because the selection of the first um, selection of the first boy is 21 over 100. When we select that boy, it means that we are now having 20 in that category instead of 21. And also we are now having a total of 99. So we say 21 over 100 times 20 over 99. So let us punch on the calculator 21 over 100 times 20 over 99. We are getting our answer is 7 over 165. Or we write it as a decimal, it is going to be 0, 0,024. So we are done now on how to deal with probability if we are selecting from the same category. Right now, I want to dive in the questions where we are supposed to select from different categories. So we are going to select our first question from June 2008. The question is reading... A group of 70 students were involved in a 50-kilometer sponsored walk. Uh, the distance covered by the students are shown in the table. Uh, so we are supposed to calculate the probability in part E. It is saying two students were chosen at random from the group. Calculate the probability that one walked at most 20 kilometers and the other walked more than 20 kilometers but less than or equal to 25 kilometers three marks so first we are going to write the probability uh, of selecting student who walked more than uh, at most 20 kilometers right so when we are saying at most we mean um, less than or equal to 
So for our less than or equal to 20 kilometers, we are having these 30 students. Probability is going to be 30 over 70. Then we need to find the probability uh, of more than 20 kilometers but less than or equal to 25. It is this category. They are saying more than 20 kilometers but less than 25 kilometers. So it is this category. So we write our probability is 12 over 70. So here we are forced to make a decision. Either we are going to face select a student who walked at most 20 kilometers and then we select uh, the one from 20 to 25 or we are going to first select from 20 to 25 then we select the one who walked at most 20 kilometers so we need to write this down let me explain again either we are going to pick at most uh at most 20 kilometers, then 20 to 25, or we face select from 20 to 25, then at most 20. So we need to write the probabilities. If we face select from at most 20 kilometers, we are going to have our probability is 30 over 70. And then probability of selecting 20 to 25, it is now 12 over 69. Why? Because the selection of the first student has affected the total number. They are now 69 instead of 70. But the numerator is not affected because they are different categories. Or um, we are going to say 20 to 25, then 10 to 20. So 20 to 25, we are having 12 out of 70 uh, times uh, 10 to 20, we are having that 30. But our probability is now 69 because the selection of the first child has affected the denominator. The total, they are now 69. So that is why, how we do um, if it is selection from different categories. So we now need to punch our, our um, questions on the calculator. We say 30 over 70 times 12 over 69. We are going to get this 12 over 161. And then we're saying 12 over 70 times 30 over 69. We are going to get 12 over 161. And then we need to add because it is probability of either or. So we add 12 over 161 plus 12 over 161. We are going to get our final answer is 24 over. 161 so either we can leave it as a fraction or we leave it as a decimal it is going to be 0 comma 149 i'm going to explain another example so that you understand how to calculate if it is selection from different categories so we are going to select our question from november 2007 just reading the table shows the number of patients who are HIV positive recorded at a district hospital. If two patients are chosen at random, find the probability that one is at most 20 years old and the other is more than 60 years old. So when we are saying probability at most 20 years old, we mean uh, less than or equal to 20. So we are going to select those from 0 to 10 and then 10 to 20. So we are going to say 60 plus 140. We obtain our answer is 200. And then the total number of patients, we are having this 1,750. So we write 1,750. Next, we want to find the probability um, of more than 60 years old here is 60 to 70 so we are having 50 over 1750 and then after that we are forced to make a choice either we are going to first select uh, the one that is at most 20 years old and then select the one uh, patient who is more than 60 years old or we are going to first select 60 years old and then it must be 20 years old.
So if we are using this condition of first selecting at most 20 years, we write 200 over 1750 and then selecting more than 60, it is now 50, but the, the denominator is now 1749. Or we first select more than 60 years, we write 50 over 1750. Then selecting at most 20, it is 200, but the denominator is now 1749, so we need to add these probabilities. The answer that we are going to get is going to be our final answer. So 200 over 1750 times 50 over 1749. So we are obtaining 14 over uh, 12,243. And also if we punch this, we are going to get 40 over 12,243. And then we need to add our probabilities so that our final answer is going to be 80 over 12,243. We can write it as a decimal. So that it is going to be zero comma zero zero six five three. This marks the end of our tutorial today on probability final exam tips uh, for probability that is examined in Maths Paper Two. Uh, thank you so much, guys, for following me on this channel. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share my videos. I love you all. This is Eve signing out.